Now to the story about a family from Zionsville. They were coming home from a soccer game when they had a dangerous detour. They were carjacked after a rest stop in Anderson. Police caught up with the man accused of taking the car with the family inside, eventually arresting him in Indianapolis after a chase. Rich Van Wyck was there when the suspect went to court. A Zionsville mom, her 12-year-old son, and her mother got off the interstate to get something to eat. A man they thought was a panhandler carjacked their car, taking one of them for an hour-long ride down the interstate. Fortunately, the, uh, the driver and her 12-year-old son got out of the car. But the 81-year-old grandmother didn't. With Robert Brickard at the wheel, she sat in the passenger seat as the SUV traveled down I-69 with police in pursuit. Rickard finally stopped on the Indianapolis Far East Side. The woman scared but unharmed. Had an elderly woman in the car, very scary. I'm sure it must have been very traumatizing for her to be in that vehicle. In court, Rickard told the judge he has no job, no home, and almost no money. He accepted a plea of not guilty to charges of robbery and auto theft. Prosecutor Rodney Cummings anticipates filing more charges. That's something that we'll look on, look at as as the case proceeds. There's a likelihood that he could face even more serious <clears throat> even charges. more serious charges. Absolutely. Rickard asked that his ten thousand dollar bond be reduced. The judge refused. The Anderson man has a criminal record. Rickard, the prosecutor says, is a familiar face. Already on probation for felony battery, he will be held without bond in jail as he awaits trial.